My name's Jason. I'm one of the producers of the show Reps on Channel 31. We decided to put together a show about 18 months ago when I came with the seed of an idea to uh, Paul and the other producers who looked after the technical side of it. I knew he had the capabilities to do, uh, to make my idea come to life. And uh, we made a pilot, sent it around, and uh, we knew it could go one of two ways. One, that we had the uh, complete control to do the show um, as we wanted to do it, or you know, if it did get taken up by a network or a production company, that you know they might say we like the idea, or we don't like you in this role, or we whatever. You know, we we knew it could uh, go any number of ways. And uh, when we got the call from yourself at Channel 31 to to uh, come in and talk about the show, and then to uh, say go and make a, a season. Uh, we were wrapped because we knew that, that pretty much, if we kept to your guidelines, we would be uh, doing the show as we wanted it and I'd be playing the character that I'd written and uh, we'd be able to, you know, produce the show with uh, minimal interference and sort of uh, do the dream that we wanted to do. The experience we had making the pilot episode was, uh, was great. We, um, obviously I'd already cast myself in the role and uh, convinced Paul to play my sales manager Gary and then my friend Simon uh, who I've worked with on a number of creative endeavours I got him on board to play Steve and then somehow evolved into him playing Wall as well the old rep uh, we auditioned uh, girls from starnow.com for their two female lead roles, Susie and Lucy, and found Cassie and Chloe, which was great because they fit it perfectly. We couldn't have wished for um, better actresses for those roles. In fact, as soon as we did the pilot, uh, when I wrote the remaining five episodes and I've already started writing season two, um, I now write with them in mind, with those actresses in mind for those characters. Um, so we all got together, we did a couple of rehearsals um, throughout the summer of that year, which was the summer before last, and uh, we filmed all the internal scenes, the office scenes at a, an office set in Coburg on a Saturday that was a, a friend of Paul's. And then we did the internal scenes over the next few weeks, sorry, beg your pardon, the external scenes over the next couple of weeks, the, the pub scenes and the car and the shopping centre. And um, yeah, that was edited together over the next few months and, and sent off with a DVD and a fairly elaborate package to try and attract attention with publicity photos and, and everything else and character studies and uh, bios and all the act actors and actresses. We wanted to try and make it look like an impressive package for everybody. Um, but produce, making the pilot was great fun. We had a ball doing that and uh, seeing the finished product, actually um, watching what you've done and watching the characters come alive and the, the dialogue and everything else and the interaction, uh, the relationships between the characters. It was, um, it was just a buzz to, to see it all happen. And, the most challenging part is a couple of things. One is the time factor, the fact that um, everybody's got jobs and everybody's got families and home lives and, and other interests and other commitments. So trying to fit that in on weekends and after hours and, and trying to get a group of people together sometimes, you know, like because with some of the office scenes, we'd be doing two, three episodes at the same time. Uh, so we'd have a lot of uh, extras and small roles coming in and so we might have to coordinate 15 plus people on one day, uh, which is not easy. Um, <clears throat> the other side of the coin obviously is, well the coin, if you did have obviously money to pay people, suddenly people are uh, maybe a little bit more um, uh, committed to put things, put other things aside to, to do the show, you know, if you are paying them. So, um, and when you're trying to get people to do roles, some people understand that it's a big thing for their career. Other people just go, how much am I going to get paid? So, okay, sorry, we can't use you. Um, so, yeah, doing it on no budget, I guess, was, was a challenge and then the time restraints as well, or constraints.